Welcome to American Roots. My name is Jessica and today I'm going to show you uh, what I do for my seed organization. Now this is something that I got from Kevin over at Epic Gardening. Um, I will put the link down to that video below. But over time, the last few years that I've used this, um, it's kind of developed and I wanted to show you how I organize it. Organization is something that you have to kind of get into your own brain on how that works for you, uh, what's gonna be the most convenient and what you're gonna remember. Um, I can organize something and if I try to use a new system and I haven't quite memorized it, I forget where I put things. So it's really important that you remember your new system. Um, and I know that seems like, oh yeah, remember your new system, but really, um, I've forgotten where I've put seeds. Um, so it's really important to just kind of remember how you want to organize it. So let me show you how I have my seeds organized. Now, this is, first of all, a photo box. Um, you can buy them at like Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann Fabric. Um, it's called like a photo organizer. I wait until they are on sale um, or I get a coupon. I do not pay $50 a piece for these things. There's no way I could do that. Especially as my seed collection's growing, I'm needing more and more. So always decorate it with something that you love so that you want to look at it and it brings you joy when you get into it. Now, first thing is this is my vegetables and fruits. Um, I keep all my flowers separate so that I can, I just started getting too many seed um, packets and I just needed a way to organize them so I could differentiate. So this is my um, fruits and vegetables. I have them labeled by what they are, beans, broccoli, cucumbers, and these might change. I've found that these um, categories of what I have um, change or it's growing. <laughs> that doesn't surprise anybody, it's growing. My mom went to the county, um, which we live in Maricopa County in Arizona, and she found this, um, it's a planting calendar for annual fruits and vegetables. So while it's not exhaustive, it's definitely got a front and a back. Everything is alphabetized. And this is really what I go by in my area. Well, yes, your zone is very important. Um, your zone just tells you the average frost in your area. So um, the frost dates, you know, are important, but we don't have too many frost dates. So I really want to know exactly what I can plant at what time of year. And this is super cool. So it is an S for seeds, T for transplant, and X is for sets of cloves. So let's just say, let's take right now. We're at the end of June and I could plant yard long beans, black eyed peas, Armenian cucumbers, all of those I could start from seed. And then I just go to the other side and I could do cantaloupe, um, honeydew, melons, and then it looks like I could transplant sweet potatoes and I could do sunflowers from seed. Now that I have exactly what it is that I can plant and still have plenty of time, um, I want to go in and look at my seeds and see exactly what I have. So I know that if I can do melons, I'm going to go right into my um, cucumber area. Now I might eventually um, give a melon section, but um, <laughs> I just put it with the cucumbers since they're in the same family. So I have cantaloupe and I have honeydew. And inside of here, I also have like um, some cantaloupe seeds we grew from our cantaloupe this year, um, watermelons, um, straight eight cucumbers, and I just start to put all my packages inside there. This is such a handy way because I can keep them like inside tucked under my bed so they're in a cool dry space and they're all organized when I need them. Now I've got my honeydew and I've got my cantaloupe that I could start. Um, the other thing it said that I could do was any kind of beans, uh, sweet potatoes, 
I did start another round of uh, regular potatoes, so they seem like they're doing pretty well despite the heat, so we'll see. Um, it's an experiment right now. I'm kind of just using it to learn how many times can I uh, seed potatoes throughout the year. And it is hot here, so it didn't seem like it was 100 days until I got my potatoes. Now, the next thing I know I wanna plant is sunflowers. I'm on this huge sunflower kick. So I'm gonna go into my sunflower bin and I've been trying. This is my flower container and I just put everything together by category. I haven't alphabetized this container yet. Um, but I do like to alphabetize them because when my brain is thinking of a certain flower, I just go right to that letter. But I would like to do sunflowers. This is my sunflower container. And I'm really trying to collect as many as possible. I think I just love them. I love what they stand for. I love that they have a cleansing nature to them that you can put them in soil that is contaminated and they will, um, clean the soil in essence. I mean, you could put them in radioactive soil and they would remove that radioactivity from the soil. Like sunflowers are super amazing. Um, and they go back super far um, coming into this country in I think the 17th century. And um, really exciting to see the history of the sunflower, but it's just so robust and it's so resilient in the Arizona heat. I feel like it does super well in the heat. Um, so I wanna plant some more. I've planted this Moulin Rouge um, before and it's lovely. I have had some of them and then I had um, planted my mammoth. But there are so many neat ones like this dwarf teddy bear, um, this Santa Lucia, um, mammoth Russian, and so what I'm learning is that there are like clip and come agains. Um, I feel like I have sunflowers that grow um, blossoms out of the armpits and I let them grow because the main sunflower will die off and the blossoms will start blooming and it's just beautiful. So I'm gonna pick, I think I wanna do this lemon queen. It's like a pastel, light pastel yellow. And then I always love these mixed ones but this one really intrigued me it was called a citrus it doesn't have a brown center i just love that unique side of the flower um, i also really 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 love this is called evening sun i just love to add a splash of color in there so i think i'm going to add plant those and i'm going to plant the melons and I was trying to think if there was anything else. I was gonna try because I know that zinnia is a good summer flower. I'm gonna try to plant some more zinnias. I think I'm gonna do the Oklahoma mixed color and I'm gonna do this giant double enchantress. And I'm gonna plant those and just see what they do. I have a couple shaded areas that they might do well, um, even though it's super hot and sunny. They'll still get sun, but then as the hottest part of the day comes, I think the sun will be shaded and they might actually do well. So we're gonna try those. All right, so we went through our seed collection and I hope you got inspired on how you could organize your seeds. Um, and if you have any questions, any comments, put down in the comment section maybe how you organize your seeds. Um, any kind of categories, any kind of specific containers. I would love to hear any ideas. I'm always up for any organization tips. Organization saves time. I appreciate you taking the time to hang out with me today. Um, thank you so much. I'll see you next time.